it's me Kelly so this video is really exciting because it's going to be a fall beauty and accessories video and if you guys know anything about me you know that I love fall so I thought I would share with you guys some new things I got for fall and of course there's some candles and some stuff from Bath and Body Works and makeup of course and then some accessories and before I get started with this video I was just wondering if you guys like my hair because I sort of waved it so if you guys could leave a comment down below saying you like it or you don't I really won't be offended because I just want to know because if this looks really weird I don't want to go out in public looking weird so yeah your guys' opinion would really help just leave a comment down below and also I would love to know what you guys have been buying for the fall season so just leave a comment down below or a video response and without any further ado I'm gonna get started with the video okay so I'm gonna start off with the accessories I got I got a lot of scarves and it's just way too many to show you so I got some from Cotton On I got their knit infinity scarves and one of my essentials for fall is definitely those knit infinity scarves but also from Cotton On I got this super cute little beanie and I love beanies I have a few but I had to get this one because it has a cute little pom pom and it's black this is my first black beanie I don't know why but it is and I love it so much because it's super soft and it looks so cute I would put it on but that would mess up my hair and so this one was maybe like eight dollars from Cotton On Next is also from Cotton On. I got these little gloves, and these are kind of cool because they're like fingerless. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but basically, if you put them on, they cover like your whole hands except for like your last little part of your fingers. So I sort of feel like a little criminal when I have these on because I feel like these are the kind that they wear in like Home Alone and stuff like that. But I love them because you can use your phone when you're on these and also like if you want your hand warm but you still want to be able to use your fingers for stuff I don't know why you'd want to use your fingers but if you do you can use these and I also just thought they were super cute and they were two dollars so I had to get those and obviously there's another glove to go with this one so I got those which are also from Cotton On. Okay so I got another pair of gloves I'm pretty sure these are gloves and not mittens but these ones are really cool because here I'll put them on they're black once again but these ones have these little gray tips on the first three fingers and so basically what you can do with these you can like touch your phone with them so like their touch screen I don't know how they do it but you can touch the phone screen with them because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've gone on with gloves in the fall and winter time and like trying to touch my phone and it like doesn't work so with this you can just, hold on, let me type in my passcode. You can move around your apps and stuff, and it's so cool. They're really inexpensive, and they're just super cute because they're cute and black and basic, but they're totally unessential if you have a smartphone or just, I don't know why you wouldn't get them. They're so cute, and I love them. That's it for the accessory stuff. The next thing I got are these Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets, and they're portable, but, um... I get these all the time because I feel like this might be really weird, especially in the fall and the winter for me. My skin gets oily, I, and I just love these. I've always used this kind, and I always will because they're the best, and they're not too expensive, I don't think. So, yeah. Okay, so next up from Bath & Body Works, I actually didn't get any candles from Bath & Body Works, but I did get some hand sanitizers for the sort of back-to-school time because... Who doesn't love some hand sanitizers? I do. So I got this one, and it's called Dancing Waters. And I cannot describe the scent other than it smells like water. That's dancing. It really does. I also got this one, which is called Pumpkin Caramel Latte. You guys, this smells like the spiced pumpkin latte from Starbucks. It smells so good. And then I also got this one, which is called Autumn Day. And this one is my favorite. I've used a lot of this one. And it just smells so good and fresh and clean. And it really does smell like fall in a little bottle right here. Of course, I had to get one of these little cover things. So I got the pink and tie-dye one. So the last thing I got from Bath & Body Works is this little body mist. And this one is in the scent Be Enchanted. And I smelled this and I knew I had to get it. These ones are really inexpensive. I think this was like 3 or $4. And it just smells like fall, so I had to get it. Okay, so the other day I was at Target and I was buying some makeup, which you guys will see later in this haul, but I had to go by the candle section and I got me a few candles. So the first one I got is this pink magnolia one, and this one just smells really nice and clean. I don't 
know how to describe it. It just smells fresh, and this is what it looks like. And I think all the candles were like maybe $15. They weren't too bad, and you get, as you guys can tell, like a pretty big size of each one. The next candle I got is this lavender one, and it's by the Chesapeake Bay brands, I guess. And this one smells obviously like lavender and this one is also just clean and fresh and I love it. The last candle I got from Target is this sweet sponge sugar one and this one just smells like cotton candy. I saw this in Mac Barrio 7's video and I knew I had to get it and it smells literally so good. I've actually used those little cotton candy machines before where you like twirl the paper thing and this smells just like that. I only got the mini one and I wish I got the large one because I wasn't sure if I liked it that much but when I burned it it smelled so good, so I think I have to buy the big one. I love it, though, and this one wasn't that much money, but yeah. Okay, so moving on to the makeup part of this haul. It's probably my favorite part because who doesn't love some new makeup? I love makeup. I'm going to start with lip products because I got four lip products here, and I'm just going to show you guys. So I went to Walgreens, and all of these are from there. So I got this. CoverGirl lipstick and this is in the shade Sultry and the reason I got this was because you guys can sort of tell it's like a brownie nude color and I tried it on and I really like it and it's sort of a matte finish so this is what it looks like and I thought this would just be great for fall you can make it a little more sheer and I don't have that many nude lipsticks so I thought this would be an awesome lip product and it was only maybe eight dollars which is not bad for a good matte lipstick, so I got that. I also got this Maybelline Baby Lips, and this is from the Electro Collection, and I have a few other ones from there, but I had to get this one because I finally found it, and this is the grape one, or it's berry or something. It's berry balm, and I have the grapevine one, and this one is pretty similar in the way it smells and the way it looks on your lips, but I had to get it because it was in a new packaging, and... It smells a little different, and I just love it because this is the perfect, like, sort of dark lip color for fall, so I'll put it on so you guys can see. So really, it's just a sheer wash of color, but I love it, and I love the Maybelline Baby Lips, so we had to pick up that. I also got this Bonnebelle Lip Blush in Cheerful Cherry, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get this when I saw it, but I just decided to buy it because I love these little lip balm things, and I lose them all the time, and I use them all the time. So this is just a little lip balm, I guess, and it has a tint of color, and it actually has pretty good pigmentation for, I think it was like 3 or $4, and it has, that's the swatch of it, and I really like it. It's nice and glossy. It reminds me of the baby lips. And the last lip product I picked up is a little brighter than the others, and this is the CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amazement Lip Gloss in the shade Plum Crazy, and this is what it looks like. It's the number 615 in case you were wondering and it's this really hot pink fuchsia color and I've used these wet slicks before from CoverGirl and they are amazing. Their pigmentation is just totally outrageous. Like that's crazy and what's awesome about these is they have crest oil in them and basically what that means is they have that stuff that's in toothpaste and it makes the lip balm smell like mint so when you put it on it'll make your breath smell like mint and it doesn't tingle on your lips at all it just smells like mint and it smells really good so I personally love it and this was only like five or six dollars and I love these CoverGirl wet slicks so I had had to pick up that and then I got a few products from the MAC CCO which is the cosmetic outlet something but I got two of their eyeshadows from the Tarte and Tail collection. So I got this one in the shade Golden Crown. And this obviously has gold in it. It's just gold and brown. And it looks like that it has that little plaid design on it. And I really like to use this one for highlighting on my cheekbones or under my brow bones. Because when you swatch it, it's really just this nice goldeny color. So the next one I got is also one of their big eyeshadows and this is called A Wish Come True. So I think this will be perfect for eyeshadow because it'll just give a nice sheer wash of pink on your eyelids. So that is all for my fall beauty and accessories haul. Leave a comment down below of what you guys got for fall or what you're looking forward to for fall or anything like that. And also let me know if you like this video and you can request other videos in the comments as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye everyone. 
throw it over there. So it's really just a sheer tint of color. What? A sheer tint. 